Yes. But let's talk about this because Tired Old Queen at the Movies is wonderful because you have, uh, did you, are you like a big guy on retention? I mean, you know so much well, about Well, I know this films. stuff like straight guys. I always say I know this stuff like straight guys know the World Series, uh, you know, baseball cards and things right. like this. Yeah. I always watched old movies. That right. was the great love and still is the great love of my life. And uh, I have a friend of mine, Vincent Cardinal, who's a brilliant director and sort of my mentor for years. And about seven or eight years ago, uh, he said to me, Steve Hayes, I think you should be a household name and I think we know how to do it. I'm going to come into your crazy apartment because that's just movie memorabilia all over the place. I'm going to hand you a DVD and I'm going to have you talk off the top of your head about the movie for about four or five minutes and we'll do one every month. And what do you want to call it without missing a beat? I said, let's call it what it is, Tired Old Queen of the Movies. And that's how this came about. And now it's many, it's many years later and almost 200 films I've talked about. And I don't criticize them. I no, love kinda, them. If they're, You kind of take people, you're like a tour guide of the movie. Yeah, yeah, take yeah. Take people through the movie. Through the movie. And I love them. And, I, and, if, and if I do them, it's because I absolutely love them, and, and I you think do you are too. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. Because I, you know, they they grab me. You know, um, if um, and I tie in personal stories, and I have a wonderful, wonderful photographer and editor, Tommy Meacham, mm -hmm. who just finds clips that will talk back to me to something I've just said. You know, so oh, lots of times really from the movie good. they answer yeah. it. You know, he'll, uh, I remember we did a, a place in the sun, and I was telling about how Elizabeth Taylor and Montgomery Cliff were such good friends that they even went to electrolysis together and he did he cut to a place in the sun and Monty Cliff looked up and went well I never heard that before <laughs> you know I mean it would be great <laughs> thing, great stuff like that so um, and I don't uh, somebody said to me um, somebody said to me oh you oh she's got it so we oh good oh one. we're gonna see one okay, okay great okay. whatever one you pick is fine said Matt I don't know which one you'll pick we'll just watch a couple like a minute of oh it because I don't know how much time we have left I look like we Sydney Green Street Sun Bidney well, that. let's keep talking until she brings the clip. So, uh, so we there uh, it is. There okay. it is. Oh gosh. So click. Yeah. Whatever oh, the women. This is a pretty new recent one. Okay. Good. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Happy Pride. Steve's got a great movie for us this month. Let's go check it out. Ooh, Johnny, it's Gay Pride. Come on in. I thought that I would finally break down for Gay Pride Month and do a movie that my friends have been begging me to do on Tired Quit at the Movies forever. 1939, George Cukor's The Women, starring Norma Shearer, Paulette Goddard, Joan Crawford, Rosalind Russell, and the incredible Mary Boland. Now, this movie was taken from a play by Claire Booth Luce, which ran 666 performances on Broadway. When they bought it, they gave the screenplay to Anita Luz. Anita Luz just brought it up a notch. She had written Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. She'd also written the screenplay for San Francisco. So she was really on top of her game, and she really knew how to throw in wisecracks. Let me see. Oh, good grief. I hate to tell you, dear, but your skin makes the Rocky Mountains look like chiffon velvet. Cukor had a reputation of being a woman's director, which is kind of dumb. Uh, yes, he was gay and he worked very well with his actresses, but he also brought Ronald Coleman and Rex Harrison to Oscars. Charles Boyer got an Oscar nomination.